Last time in Pokemon Liquid Crystal! It's even bigger, Jono. Welcome back to more Pokemon Liquid Crystal. In the last episode, we started taking on the rest of Team Static in the Lavender Tower. And now, Team Rocket arrives. What, what is this? Is that you, Father? Toru, what are you doing here? Don't tell me you came leader of Team Rocket. Yes, I did. Ever since you gave me my first, you started neglecting me. Since then, I became more and more cruel to Pokemon and others. When I finally took on the Elite Four of Woka, I came home to. What? I'm sorry, son. He took me against my will and there was nothing I could do. I'm sorry. Well, I'll never forgive you. I'm the leader of Team Rocket now. I don't need forgiveness. I have power. Team Rocket's power. What are you doing here, Jono? And what's the champion of Wooka doing here? Well, I don't care anyway. I'm the boss of Team Rocket now. I have not nothing to say to you. Let's go, boys. Our little meeting is over here. Yes, boss. My son. That was my son. Oh, Serge. Why did you have to join the, these people? Sorry, I had to think aloud. Well, that was an unexpected counter. Boys, we're leaving. I need some time to think. Thank you so much. I don't know what was going on, but they're gone now. Please take this as my token of my thanks. Alright, we get $10,000 from the director of the radio tower in Kanto. Alright, now I'm going to go heal up at the Pokemon Center, so I'll see you guys in a second. Oh, wait a minute. No, I'm not. That was some good work, Jono. Not only do you get rid of Zapdos, but you found the leader of Team Rocket. So that's going to be tricky having Team Static and Team Rocket on the loose. Say, so, how about a quick battle? I'm eager to see how much you've improved in the last match. Oh, you can't be serious. I'm about to go to the Pokemon Center, and you come up and take that privilege away from me. You are going down. Alright, so, we have Pokemon Trainer Axel with his Weird House Sprite, and first up is a Gengar. I'm sick of seeing these things. No offense, Gene, but I'm sick of seeing these things. <laughs> Seriously, they are so annoying to beat, and he has one. Don't you dare hurt yourself. Ah, mm. jeez. Oh, oh, so now he uses Destiny Bond. Uh. Oh. Don't you dare kill it. I swear, if you kill it, Magneton, I'm gonna kill you. Ugh, that's good. Don't, no. Oh. Ah. Why? Ooh. Alright, no, that's a good thing. Oh, no! Not that it really matters because he's probably gonna kill my Magneton anyway, but. Eh. But still, I could have used Magneton for better uses. But no. Jeez. Where's my psyche types when you need them? Actually, no, I do have a psyche type. There he goes. Alright, so I have no idea what the hell is coming up, so I'm just going to throw Pidgeot out there. And no, my luck is playing electric type. <sighs> Jeez. So, you know, we're just going to chuck a full restore on Typhlosion. Ah, jeez. It had a chance of annihilating my Pidgeot, but it, so, but it uses Tail Whip. What? Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez. Use your Pokemon right, Axel. Oh, now it uses Thunderbolt. Ah, oh, that's okay. Come on, Flame Wheel. Oh, oh, just to make things worse. Thundershock? What? Why wouldn't it keep using Thunderbolt? Thundershock again? What? He should know Thunder by now, Raichu, but I guess that's, that's his choice for just keeping it. Oh, now here comes Thunderbolt. I say something suggestive to him, and he does it. Alright, good. I think we've got him covered now. Alright. Oh, we got the critical hit now. Oh. Outrageous. Alright, next up's the Marowak. Marowak is a pure ground type, so I'm just going to quickly finish this battle off by throwing Latios out there, because he really should take care of it now. Oh, I got a message. Oh, my battery, my phone battery went flat. Oh. What a shame. Oh, well. All 
Alright, so last up is Charizard with his retarded sprite in this game. Yeah, giant head. Or gigantism, as a particular satire TV show calls it. Alright, that's the end of this battle. Alright, we defeated Axel for probably the last time in this game, I think. I'm pretty sure. Well, you probably get to battle him in your orange islands anyway. I can see a lot of potential for you there, Jono. Thank you. Alright, let's see what we've got to say now. So we didn't get in leads on where Team Static are heading next. I'm going to check the power plants. I'll meet you there if you want to come by, Jono. See you later. Alright, now I'm going to heal up at the Pokemon Center. Alright, after healing up at the Pokemon Center, our next destination, Saffron City. And from Saffron City, we're going to go to Cerulean City. Through the gateway that I think those two jerks are still hiding under. Oh, well. Alright, very slowly we're making our way up there. And... Are they still here? Yes, they are. Yo, you came through. You want to see the future? Sim, Jim Bad. What? You have it? No way. He's a liar. No one's got that from the kid since, since kid beat Koga three years ago. That kid from Pallet Town, that is, I was supposed to say. Oh, now we've got to battle him? Oh, you got to be kidding me. Developer Laz. Oh, so we actually get to battle the developers. All right. That's pretty cool, I guess. Alright, so first up he has a Pidgeot, it's a level 48. So, I'll throw Magneton out there. And I got... Oh! <sighs> oh okay, that's, I guess just as... That's, that's just as handy, I guess. Man, m my speech is really off today. I... Alright, we paralyzed him. But, yeah, my speech... <sighs> Ah, that was disgusting. Um, anyway, uh, just got a bit of food stuck down my throat. Don't really know where that came from. But yeah, my speech is really off today. Anyway, that ends his Pidgeot. Thank goodness. Next up is a Flygon. So if you have an Ice type or Pokemon that knows an Ice type move, it will go down. I guarantee you. Flygon doesn't exactly have the greatest special defense in the world. So, and plus it's Dragon Flying. Dra not Dragon Flying, Dragon Ground. Despite its look, it is not a flying type. And it used Sand 2 Modest. You know why I did that to us? Because I just said it was a flying type. It didn't like that. It didn't like that at all. So it decided to be an idiot to me and use the ground type move, which is time for super effective against a Pokemon like Magneton. But not that it matters. Anyway, Magneton grows to level 50. Next up is Medicham. Medicham is a poison fighting type. So if you have a flying type Pokemon, you really should use it against it. So yeah, um, any dark type attacks will just only be regular effectiveness because it's part fighting type. It's going to use an item now. Oh crap, it knows Reversal. Reversal actually puts it on the same um, health bar status area. Ugh, what did I say? But anyway, yeah, um, Reversal puts the exact same point of health that you are on the health bar as you are the same as him. You get the idea. So if he, if he has like half HP left, he'll give you half HP left. So that's what Reversal does. And great, it's sending out Tyranitar. Tyranitar, one of my favorite Pokemon. Uh, actually, I could say it's up there with my favorite Pokemon, actually, so... Great, Sandstorm, woohoo. Alright, so what do we got? Polyrath. I didn't know it's Thrash, alright, Polyrath really should survive this. What did I say? You know, I really hate Sandstorm. I mean, when, to, when you have Tyranitar, it isn't too bad, but when you're bursting it, it's just such a pain in the butt. And plus, it just uses up all the time. What? I thought for sure I would have knocked him out. What's with this epic music anyway? I reckon it's quite cool. Oh great, he's already confused after two turns. That's quite handy actually. Goodbye. But you know what? Just remember, if a Pokemon brings a weather effect into the battle, like whether it be hail, well you don't really see hail coming to the battle anyway. Anyway, next up we have a um, Metagross, but um, yeah, they're Psychic Steel type. But anyway, yeah, if a Pokemon brings a weather effect into the battle, like a Sandstorm, Sunny Day, or um, Rain, Rain Dance, it stays. So it will stay. 
And you also might notice that Metagross won't get affected by this because he's a part steel type, so... And I doubt we're going to finish this battle this episode as well, so we may have to take it into the next episode. Which isn't a problem because we're actually quite far ahead of schedule from where I thought it would be at this stage, so... But still... <sighs> we should have this Metagross at the end of this turn unless he uses an item, which I hope he doesn't. He better not use an item anyway, I'll kill him. Oh good, so we should have him now. Alright! Thank goodness that thing's gone, because that could be a pain in the butt. Alright, so now he's throwing his Benichan back at us. This thing with like 1 HP left. Well, he will have 1 HP left at the end of the Sandstorm. So next time in Pokemon Liquid Crystal, we're going to finish this dreadful battle with this guy. Well, it's actually a pretty cool battle. Alright, anyway, I'll see you guys then.